Welcome to this quick overview on integrations in the Things stack. Today, I'll talk about the role of a LoRaWAN network server, and I'll show you how to easily connect all sorts of platforms to visualize data, trigger actions, manage devices, and really drive the maximum value from your LoRaWAN IoT sensor data. Let's get started. In case you don't already know, the Things stack is an enterprise-grade LoRaWAN network server. In a LoRaWAN network, devices send secure messages to gateways, which are forward to a network server like the ThingStack. It's possible to view and act on that data within the ThingStack, but the real power of this model comes from integrating other end applications, so today we'll examine the best ways to do that. Today, we'll talk about the ThingStack API, one-click integrations using webhooks, native integrations with AWS IoT and Azure IoT Hub, how to access historical data with the storage integration, and legacy integrations using MQTT. First, let's talk about APIs. The ThingStack was designed from the ground up to be integratable. All features are accessible via API. If a feature exists, it's first developed as an API endpoint, and any actions can be automated via API calls. If you're designing a complex integration, check out the API documentation, and you can even look at the actions in the console and command line to see examples. They all use the same public API. However, a far more typical use case is simply forwarding messages to and from a data visualization platform. This can be done most easily with webhooks. Webhooks send data from the ThingStack to another platform. They can be scheduled for any type of events, for example, uplinks, join requests, and they carry that data to another platform securely and scalably. Webhooks also carry all the same metadata as the API, so it's possible to analyze coverage, signal strength, number of devices on a gateway, and more. To make webhooks as easy as possible to set up, the ThingStack partnered with lots of data visualization platforms to create one-click templates for connecting. You can see all the existing templates in the webhooks section of the ThingStack, and more are being added all the time. If you're used to managing IoT devices in AWS IoT or Azure IoT Hub, the ThingStack has native integrations which allow you to process all data in those platforms without ever having to touch the ThingStack itself. The ThingStack will just handle LoRaWAN messaging in the back end. We had lots of requests from users who wanted to see historical data in the ThingStack itself, so we created the storage integration to do exactly that. It allows you to easily save and view historical data. The ThingStack also has an MQTT server built in, but we recommend using webhooks for future-proof applications. Webhooks are far more scalable and secure. Some legacy applications still use MQTT, so we've kept support for it, but if you're designing your application with the future in mind, use webhooks. So. That was a quick overview of all the ways to connect the ThingStack to other applications to process and act on your LoRaWAN data. If you'd like to try the ThingStack for free or get support building your own LoRaWAN end-to-end -end solutions, see the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.